my gosh, we've got Anna Leeds on the Skype with us. Woo! You, Maya, you've got all sorts of questions for this guy. Take it away, girl. What got you interested in singing and musical theater? Um, uh, so I'm, I'm from Florida originally, and uh, where, where are you? Are you from Colorado? Yeah. Right. Um, and uh, I was my uh, I was really really shy when I was like three years old, and um, so my mom enrolled me in like a singing group, a class at, at at the recreation center at the local recreation center there, and um, and so I went and I and I actually just really loved it, so I kept going and. Um, and then ultimately, like when I was seven, uh, a Broadway show was coming to Florida to do like a, um, like a, a preview before they went to New York. And I, the, my mom, I think my mom saw an ad in the paper or something like that. And so we went down there and I met with the people and they hired me to understudy the kids in the show in Florida while they were in Florida. And then when it went to New York, um, right before I left for the show was going to New York my, um, I said to my mom I said I wish I could go to New York with them and she said we well, should go ask the producer so much like you uh, uh, writing to me and saying hey do you want to do do my show I went to them and I said hey can I do your show and, um, <laughs> and they said yes and so I ended up getting to go to New York and do it on Broadway and, um, and, uh, and yeah, and then I did a show after that called Les Mis, and I actually we actually performed in Colorado. We did it in. Are you? Are, where are you? What, what city are you guys in? Um. Denver. What city uh, do you live in? Okay, so that always confuses me. <laughs> that question. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We're a suburb of Denver. Got it. Okay. Got it. Yeah, so you were probably where, um, at the. Yeah, so I probably we did Les Mis in Denver for a yeah, while. At I the DCPA. The we Temple went to that, Buell uh, restaurant where they they uh, cliff dive. Casa Bonita. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that. Yeah, that's yeah, fun. That oh, yeah. Cool. Have you been there? Um, I don't think so. Okay. And my answer is yes a million times. Okay. <laughs> don't worry, uh-huh. Maya. I'll take you there someday. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> You'll hate their food. Yeah, yeah. The food's not <laughs> supposedly very good. <laughs> It's like all these rocks and sides and water, waterfalls, and it's really cool. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Um, so, what is your favorite Broadway show? Um, my favorite Broadway show. Do you like music? Do you like shows? Have you seen a lot of shows? Or um, yeah, I've seen a couple. And you really like the music, yeah. right? You follow the music even when you haven't seen the musicals, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah, my favorite one that I've never seen is Spring Awakening. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, there's a guy who there's a guy who's on the show that I'm on, Zoe's Extraordinary Playlist. He was in the original cast of Spring Awakening. Yeah, Skylar Aston. Yeah. Yeah, uh, I actually interviewed him a couple weeks ago. Oh, you did? Oh, that's great. Yeah. That's cool. He's such a nice guy. Yeah. Such a nice guy. Um, I like Spring Awakening a lot. Um, I like Les Mis a lot. I like uh, there's a show called Falsettos that I really like a lot that I that I got a chance to do. Um, uh, what else do I like? Um, Billy Elliot I really like. Did you ever see that? Yeah. Um, what else? Uh, I'm very excited about. Uh, there's a new a new West Side Story movie coming out in December. I'm very excited about that. Steven Spielberg directed. Excited to see that. Um, those are probably some of my favorite shows, I would say. Oh, cool. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, I think my obsession with Spring Awakening has gotten to the point that we're, like, when my sister is up here, too, I'll, like, and we're listening to the music, I'll just follow her around singing it. <laughs> so, What's your favorite song? It starts with Totally. <laughs> Yeah. She's censoring herself for us. Yeah. Yeah. What did you say? I said she's censoring herself for us here at oh, Children's Hospital, yeah. Colorado. Oh, that's true. Yeah, it's Spring Awakening. Yeah, maybe not the most appropriate. Yeah, okay, fair enough. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, uh, so you're an actor, singer, and writer. Um, is there one that you like more than the other? Um, I like them all. I, I think all for different reasons. I mean, I think writing is really fun because you can, you know, it's like a puzzle and you can take the time to figure it out and and then you get to 
you get to decide what you know you get to decide what story you want to tell but as an actor you get you get the excitement of like actually doing something like you know so it's more like a physical sport to some degree but you don't get to decide what the story is necessarily you know you kind of have to follow someone else's rules and blueprints so they're both fun and singing is just fun I have a singing lesson in a couple hours I'm excited about it cool yeah. Um, so you're a member of the um, comedy troupe, um, the Groundlings. Yes. Yeah. Um, what got you interested in improv? Um, when I moved to Los Angeles, I went to see a Groundling show because I had just heard of it. I didn't know anything about it. Uh, and I went to see a Groundling show, and in that show, were some really, really, really amazing, funny, talented people like Melissa McCarthy and um, uh, uh, who else uh, that you would know? Uh, Wendy McClendon Covey, maybe. Um, uh, this uh, uh, Jim Rash and Nat Fax, and I mean a bunch of really, really funny, talented people. And I was like, oh, I want to, I, I want to try to do what they, what they do. But I, I, I tried, and then I. I took a break from it because I never th- I thought that I wouldn't be able to because they're just so so good so that I took a break because I was like I'm not ready yet and um, and then eventually I got back into it and uh, and uh, and yeah it's really fun have you ever, it's sort of like have you ever been to an improv show or a sketch show um no we've been to like one comedy show but yeah. I don't think it wasn't like improv or got it got yeah. it yeah, I don't know. There's something really fun about it. Uh, yeah, this is really fun. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, um, so who is your um, comedic inspiration? My comedic inspiration? That's a good question. Um, I mean, I think Melissa McCarthy is pretty funny. Uh, I like her a lot. Um, let me think here for a second. I don't know. Uh Melissa McCarthy, I think Jim Rash is pretty funny. He's uh, pretty funny. These, these people are all really funny. Uh, <laughs> he's also a director. I don't know if you know who he is, but yeah, but um, and a writer. Um, he's really great. Who else? My comedic inspiration. Um, those are pretty uh, big ones. Pretty good ones. What's that? I said those are pretty pretty good ones. Pretty big Bill ones. Hader. I like Bill Hader a lot. Oh yeah. Um, who's on TV right now? That's a good comedic inspiration. Who 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 do you like? Um, well, I well, there are a lot of people. I really like. Um, well, I do like Bill Hader. I love his show Barry. Yeah. Um, and then I really like John Mulaney. Yeah. Um, and Wanda Sykes. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they're great. Did you watch John Mulaney's special on Netflix? The yeah. sack lunch, lunch bunch or whatever? Um, I haven't finished that one yet, but I've watched all, like, his other yeah. uh, comedy specials. My sister is actually um, the one who, like, introduced me to him because she, there was one week she was sick and she watched all of his comedy specials and then there was just one night that she showed them all to me Um, and I just yeah I was watching one of them this morning so oh wow okay yeah he's great yeah yeah cool yeah um so how do you find inspiration to write um that's a good question. I was actually just watching a video last night uh, that a playwright named David Auburn made. This guy wrote this play called Proof, and he was answering the same question. I was watching him trying to figure out uh, um, how to get, insp- uh, get inspiration to write. I mean, I think um, most of it comes from life experiences that I've had. Um, so if I'm trying to write a play or something like that, it's probably something that probably something that happened in the past that I'm, I think is interesting. Um, and there might be an interesting dynamic between people that I think is interesting to write about. Um, and if it's a sketch, it's probably something that like happened to me today. Like something that like I noticed on the street or a weird character 
at Staples or whatever, you know, <laughs> whatever it was, and then I'll try to write something for that character or for something that I thought made me laugh or I thought was absurd or weird. And, um, and, or, and I also keep a list of things if I see them, although it's uh, generally something weird about going back to things like much later, like somehow they lose a little bit of their oomph sometimes. But, or sometimes I'll go back and I'll see an idea and I'll be like, oh, I have this character I saw. I can, I can write a, a sketch for that character with this old idea, basically. That makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Um, so you guest starred in um, so many amazing shows, including um, House, Lucifer, Barry, Beep, Bones, The Morning Show, and One Day at a Time. Mm-hmm. Uh, have you had a favorite project or a character that you've played? Um, I've probably, well, I've had a great time doing Zoe's because of the, especially because of all the singing and dancing. That was really fun. It was really fun to rehearse with everybody and, you know, uh, dance rehearsals were always really, really fun and it's just a, a different thing. So that was really fun. I love being on Barry. That's like a great experience. Bill Hader's like the loveliest guy and um, Henry Winkler's amazing and the other guy who created the show, Alec Berg, also amazing. And so that's always, that that's just a really fun experience and everybody's just very kind and um, and it's, uh, and they, they work really hard to make a really great show. So that's great, that was great. I say before that, my favorite thing to do was Veep. That was a really great experience because again, everybody's so great, so smart, so funny, and I loved the character on Veep. It was really, really sort of stupid guy that um, uh, that but actually he's not stupid. He just his brain is just <laughs> odd. Uh, <laughs> but um, so yeah, so I'd say that was really, really fun. I mean, they were all really fun in their own way. Bones was fun, but it was hard because it was like you know a lot of like just a lot of like physical stuff and um and yeah it was just a little bit different especially because of the the like just playing a serial killer <laughs> that was a weird thing um and uh and then actually the, 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 the last thing i did was um uh i did an episode one day at a time and I got to sort of play a character that I do at the Groundlings, so that was really fun because my friend created One Day at a Time, and she said, "Do you want to come do the show?" And I said, "I'd love to," but I, I said, I, "You have to let me wear a wig if I do." And so, uh, it's a small little part, but I got to play a character that I've done at the Groundlings, so it was really fun to do that. Yeah, you were so funny, isn't that? Oh, thanks, thanks. I actually did that that character. I did uh, a couple a few nights ago. Uh, I did like an Instagram live show as that character where I interviewed, do you know Milo Mannheim? Do you know who that is? Yeah. Yeah. So I, I interviewed him for like 40 minutes as that character. So that was really fun. Yeah. Oh, cool. Yeah. 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 It was like, um, yeah, I love, I love his movie zombies. Oh yeah. Yeah. Zombies too. Yeah. I think I annoy my sister a little bit because I listen to all the music from that movie and then all the music from Spring Awakening and all yeah. the music to Zoe's Extraordinary Playlist just like on a loop. So I think I annoy her a little bit. <laughs> did you watch the, um, did you watch all of Zoe's? Yeah. You did, okay. Yeah. Did you, was, did the uh, last episode upset you? <laughs> Yeah, it, it made me cry, and then it, like, it stuck with me for, like, the entire week. Wow. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I, yeah, it, yeah, it made me cry. <laughs> yeah, yeah, me too. It was very sad. Yeah. Very sad. Yeah. yeah. But it was really good, too. Oh, uh, that's good. Yeah, I thought, yeah, I thought everybody did a great job. Yeah. 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 Um, so... My next question is actually about Zoe's Extraordinary Playlist. Um, So you play David in the show, and I already told you this, but I love that show. Um, And I'm really crossing my fingers for a second. I hope so, too. I think we'll know soon, hopefully. Cool. Yeah. um, Yeah, my fingers are crossed. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. So... um, the show is, it's really 
magical. Um, so what's your favorite thing about being part of the show? Um, I mean, my favorite thing aside from the people who are just like all like just so great and it's, they're so nice and fun and talented. Um, uh, I mean, I love I love getting to spend time with the people that play my parents, this, you know, uh, Mary Steenburgen and, and uh, Peter Gallagher. They're really really great. And um, and but I think the most fun part part about it is getting to uh, getting to get to sing and dance. I mean, you just don't get to do that anywhere on television, you know what I mean? Yeah. So, um, getting to sing and dance and getting to work with the choreographer, Mandy Moore, she's incredible and she, um, she really, uh, like, is very collaborative and uh, lets you bring your ideas to the table and she never, you know, she always, she always makes it work for people because I'm not really, like, a, I'm not, like, an amazing dancer but she makes everyone look really good and, um, so that that part of it is just really really fun, and just getting to rehearse with people, do, doing the dance rehearsals, and like do, you know rehearsing the last thing that American Pie number was really really fun because there were so many people involved, and um, and uh, yeah, it's just, it's just that that was probably the best part about it was just getting to rehearse those numbers and getting to watch other people do their numbers, you know. Yeah, um, it's great to watch it on TV. It was really great watching it live. I mean, that was really exciting. Yeah, um, yeah, so what was your favorite episode to film? I think probably the last episode was probably my favorite to film. Um, mostly because I had, uh, you know, I had a decent amount to do in it. I mean, I, I, there's an episode that I love that I'm not in that much called uh, episode 108 where she sings, where she sings. And I, I love that episode. Um, that wasn't as much fun for me to film because I really wasn't there very often. But I love that episode. But but probably the last episode was the, my favorite to film just because I love doing the the song with Peter and um, American Pie was really fun and uh, I just sort of love everything about that episode. You know? Yeah. 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 Um, so, uh, what do you do to stay motivated? Uh. What do I do to stay motivated? Um, it's an interesting question. I don't know. I don't really. You mean like how do I how do I make myself be motivated, or, or what, what what do you mean? Um. Yeah. How do you? Um. Yeah. How do you like get motivated to do something? I mean, I pretty much only do things that I want to do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, if I don't want to do it, I probably am not even going to try to motivate myself to do it. <laughs> um, Good advice. I don't know. I mean, I guess like if I have, you know, exercising, I don't, I don't like, although I, I, I mean, I guess I, you know, I, exercising I get motivated to do because I know I'm going to feel good afterwards. So, um, but, uh, but generally like I get, I'm motivated to do something because I'm excited about it, you know, and I'm excited to share it with somebody usually. So. You know, if I want to write a script, it's because I'm excited for, you know, excited for people to read it. Um, you know, if I want to be on a show, it's because I love the show. So um, it's hard to get motivated to do things that you're not that yeah. <laughs> excited yeah. about. Yeah, it's a lot of the stuff I have to do for school. I can't yeah. get motivated to do it. <laughs> that's understandable. Although that's, you know, I mean, I guess you can kind of get help get motivated because you realize that, I mean, that's the thing is I probably wasn't as motivated as I should have been when I was in school, but ultimately looking back, I wish I had sort of forced myself to be because it would have made life easier later, you know? Yeah. Like, I, you, I mean, I always do it. I just <laughs> like can't get motivated to. Well, I mean, I guess the good part is that once you get motivated to do it, then the sooner you're done. So, yeah. I mean, what would you, are, are you, is there a particular, like, subject that you like or don't like? Um, I don't like math. I like, I like English, and then um, this year, um, first semester, I took street law, and that is my favorite class I've ever taken. Oh, that's cool. Interesting. Do you think maybe you'd want to be a lawyer? Um... I was actually talking to somebody about this. Like, I 
I don't know. I want to be an interviewer, and I think, like, being a lawyer, like, I think that would be really interesting, but I don't want to be in school for that long, <laughs> so... Right. Although, I don't know, if you like street law, maybe you should think about it. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> I think it'd be fun to be a lawyer. It's a little bit like acting in a way. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I think it would be really hard also, though, to be a lawyer. Because um, there was this show that I still remember. They, one of the characters was talking about how at um, a different law firm that she worked at, um, she would always be, like, defending the... She would be on the prosecution. Or, yeah on the yeah on no on the side i'm like defending the person yeah and she'd always like hope just secretly hope that the other side won because she knew how <laughs> um, like bad of a person this one was and i feel like that was me and like street law when we had to do mock trials oh wow I'd always be on like this side like the second mock trial we did I was on the side of the prosecution and I really wanted the other side to win because I was like this person is not guilty so I was like if we win I'm gonna lose all my faith and oh no yeah well then you probably maybe you shouldn't be a lawyer because you have to yeah you have to fight for the side that you're on <laughs> yeah <laughs> Um, so, um, what song would be on the soundtrack of your life? Oh, the song would be on the soundtrack of my life? Um, hmm, that's a good question. Uh, soundtrack of my life. Uh, any Billy Joel song? Um, um, any Billy Joel song? I'm trying to think if there's, uh, any other song from like uh yeah just any Billy Joel song <laughs> yeah I love Billy Joel so <laughs> yeah. what, other, uh, what, other, what other musicians do you like um I really like Ben Platt oh he's great yeah yeah and um and Selena Gomez um Halsey, Taylor Swift. Did you see Dear Dear Evan Hansen? No, I no, I haven't. Oh, good. Do you do you know the music? Yeah. It's good, right? Yeah, yeah. it is. And Ben Platt's new song, I love it, but it um it makes me cry. I was listening to it yesterday, and I just started crying, and then oh no. Some, Sunday night was like I was just I don't even know why but I was like so emotional Sunday night and I listened to it and yeah it was just bawling oh wow so, I haven't heard it yet I'll have to check it out it's really good so, yeah yeah, yeah. Um, so um, what is your biggest pet peeve hmm my biggest pet peeve um, pet peeve. Let's see. Uh, I guess people. I, I guess when people um, when people misremember things. Oh yeah. <laughs> so like when people think that like, you know, they have a uh, a memory that just isn't true, and you can't and you can't convince them otherwise. I guess that would be my biggest pet peeve. Oh yeah. Very frustrating. Very frustrating. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'm probably guilty of it too. People's memories, nobody's memory is perfect, but yeah. it's still frustrating. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It, yeah. It, uh, like, frustrates me. I know, like you said, everybody's memory is different, but when I remember something differently than the other person, I'm like, no, this is what happened. <laughs> yeah. I really, w I really wish there were a way of just, like, rewinding. <laughs> Yeah. Be so life would be so much easier. We wouldn't have to argue about anything. We'd be like, oh, well, that is what happened, you know. Yeah. <laughs> so, what's your what's your biggest pet peeve? Oh. I don't like when people are like 
when they are like eating and um i just i don't like that sound oh <laughs> interesting okay yeah, or like they're um or like they clear their throat i just i don't know that those sounds just like i can't yeah. do yeah honey yeah. okay I'll <laughs> sure <that's good. laughs> sorry what i said i'll be sure not to clear my throat <laughs> um, no, I remember there, um, like a couple months ago, there at, um, I was at school and I was walking down the hall and everybody was like clearing their throats and like sniffling and it just, like I almost just kind of lost it right in the middle of the hallway. Oh my gosh, yeah. 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 <laughs> um, so has there been a book or a movie that's had a big impact on you? Uh, I mean, I think, I mean, definitely, I mean, there's definitely books that I've, that I've really loved. Um, yeah, actually, uh, I like, I mean, I like autobiographies a lot. So I would say like, um, probably like, Neil Simon's autobiography had a big impact on me. There's a book called Act One that I really love by Moss Hart. That's about like, uh, it's his, his story of becoming a playwright. And um, I really love that book a lot. And um, uh, and then I like, you know, other books I catch from the room. I'm still getting a bookshelf, by the way, that's why. Yeah. Uh, um, uh, yeah, I like, I really liked, um, uh, I really like Catcher on the Rye. And then, I don't know, movies? I mean, yeah, The Graduate, um, at the time, American Beauty. Uh, I really, really liked, although I don't know if I would feel about it now. Uh, and um, uh, other movies that had like a big impact. I mean, The Sound of Music, I probably watched that a million times growing up. <laughs> West Side Story, Carousel, things like Grease, I, I watched a billion times growing up. Cool. Yeah. Um, yeah, I really like Greece. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so do you have a motto or quotation that you live by? Um, I used to, I used to really like the quote, um, it is not in doing what you like, but in liking what you do, that is the secret to happiness. I haven't thought about that in a while, but yeah, I, I like, I, I like that a lot. Um, I think I just sort of try to live by like the golden rule, right? Which is what do unto others. I should know it, but like you know, um, you know. I, I think I just try to, I try to always remember like how would I want to be treated in a certain situation and try to treat people that way. You know, um, I hope that's that's the goal. I think, you know. Although it's interesting because sometimes you don't know how people want to be treated, even if you wanted to be treated a certain way. Yeah. It's hard to know sometimes, but I try to be aware of what people are feeling and what they, what they're, how they're, you know, being affected by something. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so if somebody narrated your life, who would you want the narrator to be? Um, someone narrated my life. I mean, someone with a good voice, maybe Morgan Freeman. <laughs> uh, yeah, maybe we're out go with Morgan Freeman. What is that behind you? There's a is there a poster behind you? Oh, um, yeah, there's a Sean Mendes poster. Oh, okay. Yeah, from we uh, saw him in concert a couple years ago, and so the voice teacher that we all went to for uh, Zoe's uh, works with Sean. Oh, cool. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, um, one of our neighbors is um, a music producer, so he got us meet and greet tickets. That's so cool. we met. Cool. That's <laughs> so, awesome. He's great. Wow, yeah. that's so cool. Yeah. Um, so, uh, who do you consider? My last question for you is: Who do you consider to be a real life superhero, and why? Um. Who? Yeah. Uh, who do I consider to be a real life superhero? Why? I mean, my mom, maybe. Uh, just because she's so giving and so generous, and and really spends a lot of her energy trying to do things for other people. Um, and 
I would say, you know, any of these people right now that are going to work, yeah. you know, anybody, I mean, the people at the grocery store, I mean, they're putting their lives at risk so they can, so that people can eat, you know, yeah. those people are pretty amazing if you think about it. I mean, uh, so yeah, I mean, there's a lot, I like a lot of superheroes right now, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, well, thank you so much for calling in. I yeah, asked, I'm so glad um, you reached out. Thank you so much for uh, watching the show and being so supportive of it. Yeah. I really appreciate it. Yeah, I, well, it's one of my favorite shows, so. That's true. I guess you don't need a lot of motivation because you already like it. But um, <laughs> but, uh, but we still we still really appreciate it. We're glad we're glad that you that is one of your favorite shows. It's great. It's really great. It makes doing it worth it. You know. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. yeah. Well, I I just had um, such an awesome time talking to you. So thank you. Uh, thank you. I had a great time too. Really, really great. It was great to meet you. Thank you, you so much. We appreciate you sharing with us here at Children's Hospital Colorado. And just know that if you're ever in Colorado. We'd love for you to stop by the Seacrest studio and say hi to all the kids. Amazing. We'd love to. Thank you guys so Thank much. Thank you so, so much. Bye-bye. Bye. Well, bye.